Hey guys! So I'm making a video about Australian cattle dogs. This is Louie. He is one year and now almost four months. Um, he's a blue healer. So there's a red healer and a blue healer with this breed. It just means their color. He has the blue mural color and the red, they're just red. Um, so yeah, this is Louie. I wanted to give like a few tips about blue healers, things you may not know, things you have heard, you know, just so if you're interested in the breed, you'll know more about them. I've realized that there really isn't much about them online. When I look, he's going crazy. Um, when I've looked, like, I researched everything about them before I got a blue healer because I'm really into doing that. And there's really not much about them. Really not that many YouTube videos at all. So I was thinking of making one. Um, there's just like a few things I wanted to say about them. They were bred from dingoes in Australia, which is pretty cool. Um, they need a lot of exercise, but they're not energetic. Like that's the thing I want to point out. When they've had their exercise, they're snuggle bugs. Like they just sleep all day. Like we took him for a walk a little while ago. He had a big nap and now he's ready to exercise again. So it's kind of like a go for a walk, he'll nap, go for a walk, he'll nap. Or if you want to just, you know, run him ragged, take him on hikes, take him on jogs with you, he'll be your exercise buddy as well as your snuggle buddy when he's done with his exercise. Um, so yeah, they're not, I wouldn't compare this. I don't want to compare, I don't want to say pit bull, but like a pit bull, border collie, kind of like jumping all around, very excited, running around the house. He's not really like that. When they don't get their exercise, they destroy stuff. They'll sit there and they will chew your favorite pair of shoes. They're not going to be running around, like uh, running out the door, wanting to go out. They're just probably in your room, going through your favorite pair of shoes, destroying them. Okay, he's like in the... Um, so they're different like that. A lot of people think that, you know, if this dog needs um, exercise, he's going to be crazy all the time. He just wants... All right, come on. <laughs> Get out of the vehicle. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Um, another thing as they is they are loyal, very loyal dogs. They usually pick one or two, I'm saying one or two because me and my boyfriend, like he kind of goes one week he'll be like my best friend and then the next week he'll be following Nick around and watching Nick and being Nick's best friend. But with a family, he's not really a family dog, he's not gonna like want everyone um, to pet him. Usually when my mom or my brothers, I get it, <laughs> Nick is holding up a sign saying protective. They're very protective um, of you, of those people. Um, but what I was saying was, my mom will go up to pet him and he ducks his head. He doesn't want to pet from her. I mean, it's not that he doesn't like her because when he sees her, he'll like run up to her, but he doesn't really want her attention. He wants my attention or Nick's attention. Um, yeah, he's not, he's not like a lab where he's going to come up to everybody wanting pets and wanting your love. No, honest to God, he doesn't care about you. He cares about me. And that's what I like about the dog. You know, it's your dog. He cares about you. Um, and only you. So I like that a lot about the breed. Um, another thing is, yeah, they're very protective. They're territorial. He's very territorial about his area, his house. If someone comes, he's barking at the door, he's freaking out, he hears a noise outside, he's right up at the window, and that's something you have to start training them very early, that they're not the boss, and they do not, they don't, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> we got that far. So another thing, um, if they're not socialized, then that is gonna be a problem because they're very, protective in the way that if they see a stranger they're gonna try and bark and they're gonna try and bite that stranger to defend you so that's something that you really need to focus on when they're puppies bring them to parties bring them everywhere you can to meet babies children people with sunglasses people like different skin tones different um hair colors like everything tall people short people um just to get them to realize that humans come in all shapes and sizes and strangers are not you know, um, 
dangerous and they're not going to hurt us. And another thing with Louie is I try to, when I'm walking him, I walk him at my side. So I am the person who is going to protect us. He's not in front. He's not smelling and looking at people and trying to defend me. He doesn't make the decisions. I do. So that's another thing with the, you know, protectiveness. Just to be aware of that uh, at an early time when you get the dog, just start training it, start socializing it. Because if you don't, he will bite strangers. Um, he, he will be protective and that's a problem. That is a big problem, especially if you live in a place where, you know, in the, in the city or something. Um, if you do live in the city, you can have a blue healer. As long as you give them the exercise that they need, they're a mid-sized dog. He's going to only be about 45 pounds, 50 at the most. Um, and he's small. <laughs> they are very smart dogs. He's very easy to train. I can train him a new skill in like 10 minutes and he's got it down. Um, so, And they love to train. They love to learn new things. Um, I've heard of like other dogs like Shiba Inu is their one dog where they're very stubborn and they don't like learning. They're, they you know, don't want to hear from you. They don't want to learn from you. But he is all ears when it comes to like a new trick. They need to be mentally stimulated as well as having their physical exercise. So just bringing them out for a run, yes, that will tire them out, but their mind is still going. You need to give them something to work on, to focus on. Um, what else? I don't know. <laughs> so that's all I can think about right now. Um, but I would really recommend this breed if you want a companion, um, someone to be your exercise buddy, your hiking buddy. He's great. I love him. I really recommend the breed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want more videos about blue healers or you'd like me to do something else. Thanks, guys.